Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and today we're going to talk a little bit about Boyle's Law. Robert Boyle was an Irish scientist that lived in the 1600s and he basically came up with this idea uh, relating to the pressure and volume of a gas and he states that at constant temperature and mass the pressure and volume of a gas are inversely proportional. So what does that mean? Well, if we take a look here, we have a graph of Boyle's Law. And if the temperature and mass or number of moles of that gas are held constant, then if we take a look here, as the pressure of the gas is decreasing, the volume of that gas is going to increase. All right. Furthermore, if we take a look, if the volume of the gas decreases, then the pressure of that gas is going to increase. All right. So Boyle's Law states that the pressure and volume of a gas are inversely proportional. As one is increasing, the other will decrease. All right, so let's take a look at an example and see what I'm talking about. In this example here, we've got three cylinders. Every one of these cylinders has a gas in it. Okay. Furthermore, this right here represents a piston. This piston is going to be able to uh, move down into this cylinder. All right. If we take a look at the temperature of every one of these gases in the cylinder, the gas is being held constant. We have a temperature of 273K here, 273K, and 273K. Furthermore, the number of moles of gas is being held constant. So these are unchanging. All right. So right now, the gas that is in this cylinder right here has a pressure of one atmosphere, and it's occupying 40 liters of space. Well, what if this piston should drop in this cylinder here? All right, so this piston is going to drop down in this cylinder so that the volume of this gas now occupies 20 liters. We want to know what the new pressure of this gas will be. All right, so if we take a look, the volume of this gas is being cut in half. So what should happen to the pressure? Well, according to Boyle's Law, if you hold the temperature and number of moles or mass of the gas constant, then if the volume here is being cut in half or is decreasing by a factor of one half, then the pressure will double. All right, so the pressure of the gas in here is two atmospheres. Two atmospheres. Furthermore, what if the piston drops even further down into this cylinder here? All right, so the piston drops further down into this cylinder so that the pressure of this gas is now four atmospheres. So the pressure here is doubling to four atmospheres. What should happen to the volume? What should the amount of uh, space this gas is occupying be? Well, if the pressure is doubling, then the volume will be cut in half according to Boyle's Law. Okay. Once again, pressure and volume of a gas are inversely proportional as long as the temperature and number of moles or mass of that gas are held constant. And if we take a look here, we should notice something. The starting pressure times the starting volume equals 40. And if we take a look, the ending pressure times the ending volume right here equals 40. Furthermore, if we compare these two cylinders, the starting pressure times the starting volume is 40. And the final pressure times the final volume is also 40. So Boyle's Law can be summed up using this formula right here. P1V1 equals P2V2. The starting pressure of a gas times the starting volume of a gas will equal the final pressure of the gas times the final volume of the gas as long as the temperature and number of moles or mass of that gas are held constant. And when we're working with Boyle's Law formula, we need to make sure that the pressure units are the same. What do I mean by that? Well, if we're dealing with atmospheres here, then this needs to be in atmospheres as well when we're working with this formula. If we're dealing with milliliters here, then we need to make sure that we're also dealing with milliliters here. So let's take a look at an example. In this problem here, it says a gas occupies 50 liters at 2.5 atmospheres. We want to calculate its new volume if its pressure increases to 6 atmospheres. We're going to assume constant temperature and mass. So in this problem here, we have a gas that's starting off at 50 liters and its pressure is 2.5 atmospheres. We are asked to calculate its new volume if its pressure is increasing to 6 atmospheres. All right, so what formula do we know uses P's and V's? Well, that's going to be the Boyle's Law formula. Okay, so 
we know that P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. And in this problem here, we are asked to find the new volume, or we're trying to solve for V2. So how do I isolate V2? That is to say, how do I get V2 all by itself on one side of that equal sign? I'm going to have to divide by P2 on both sides. They will cancel out here. And here is the formula I'm going to use to solve this problem right here. Okay, so now before I can plug everything in here, I need to make sure that these pressure units are the same. I have atmospheres here and atmospheres here. So now I can just plug these values in. P1 is going to be 2.5 atms. V1 is going to be 50 liters. And we're going to divide this by P2 if we take a look at six atmospheres. Let's grab a calculator and put these numbers in. And I should end up with 20.833. ATMs will cancel out, leaving you with liters. Okay, so we're not going to pay attention to significant figures in these examples, but if your teacher is asking you to use uh, the sig fig rules, then please do so. We're just going to round these to the thousands. So does this answer make sense? Well, let's take a look. We have a gas that is occupying 50 liters at this pressure. If the pressure is increasing by more than double, then it looks like the volume here should decrease by slightly more than half, and that is exactly what's happening here. All right, so let's take a look at another example. All right, in this example, it says a gas at 350 torres has its volume decreased to 500 milliliters as its pressure increases to 1.2 atmospheres. Calculate the original volume of the gas. Assume constant temperature and mass. So we have a gas, and it looks like this gas is starting at this pressure here. Right, it's starting at this pressure here, and this will be P1. All right, it looks like the, the, uh, the pressure is increasing to this right here. So this will be P2. Its volume is decreased to this. So the volume is being, is being decreased to this. So this is V2. And we are asked to calculate the original or first volume of this gas. All right, so we've got a bunch of P's and V's here. What formula do you know? uses P's and V's, well, that is going to be the Boyle's Law formula, P1 V1 equals P2 V2. And in this problem here, we are asked to calculate V1. We are asked to solve for V1. We want to know the original volume of this gas. So the way that I isolate V1 and get it all by itself on one side of that equal sign is to divide both sides by P1. P1 will now cancel. And so now the formula I'm going to use to solve this problem will be V1 equals P2, V2, all over P1. All right, so let's take a look. Before we begin, we need to make sure the pressure units are the same, and they're not. This is in tors, and this is in atmospheres. So we either have to convert this to tors or convert this to atmospheres, and it really doesn't matter which one you decide to do because you will end up with the same answer either way. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this tors, the 350 tors, to atmospheres. And the way I convert the tors to atmospheres is to simply divide, take 350 divided by 760, and you will end up with 0.461 atmospheres. All right, so now that we have the pressure units both the same, we can just simply plug this in. So V1 is going to be equal to P2, which is 1.2 atmospheres, times V2, which is going to be 500 milliliters. Then we're going to divide that by P1, which is 0 0.461 atmospheres. These units will cancel, leaving you with milliliters put this in our calculator here and we end up with 1301.518 
try to fit that all in here. There we go. So what is the original volume of this gas that's starting off at a pressure of this and its volume is being decreased to this? Well, it looks like the original volume of this gas should be 1,301.518 milliliters. Let's all right, let's take a look at this third problem. It says a gas occupies 450 milliliters at three atmospheres. If its volume decreases to 0 0.200 liters, then what will its new pressure be? Assume constant temperature and mass. So in this problem here, we have a gas, and this gas is occupying 450 milliliters. So here is V1, and its pressure is this right here, three atmospheres. That's going to be P1. Its volume is decreasing to this. This is going to be V2. And we want to know what its new pressure will be. So we are asked to calculate P2. All right, so if we take a look at this problem, the very first thing we're going to notice is that this volume 1 unit is in milliliters, whereas the volume 2 unit is in liters. So what we have to do is make them the same. We either need to make this milliliters or we need to make this liters. It doesn't matter which one you decide to change, you will get the same answer. So I'm going to just change this to milliliters. And the way that I do that is by moving this decimal one, two, three times to the right. All right, and we end up with 200 milliliters. Okay? So in this problem here, we are asked to solve for P2. If we know that P1 V1 equals P2 V2, and we're asked to calculate or solve for P2, then I need to divide both sides here by V2. This will now cancel, and the formula that I'm going to use to solve this problem will be P2 equals P1 V1 all over V2. All right, now our volume units are the same. We have them in milliliters. And now we're good to go. So P1 in this problem is going to be three atmospheres times V1. Looks like V1 is 450 milliliters. And we're going to divide this by V2, which is 200 milliliters. I'll put this in the calculator and we end up with 6.75 atmospheres 6.75 atms milliliters will cancel leaving you with the unit atmospheres so let's take a look at this question here uh, a gas occupies 450 milliliters at three atmospheres it looks like the volume is decreasing so the pressure should increase we're starting off at three atmospheres and the final temperature is in fact increasing. All right, let's take a look at the next example. In this example here, it says 50 liters of a gas has its pressure decreased to 670 torres as the container it is in shrinks to 20 liters. Calculate the gas's starting pressure. Assume constant temperature and mass. So in this problem, we have a gas that's starting off at 50 liters. its pressure is decreasing its pressure is decreasing to 670 torres so this here is going to be p2 since the pressure is decreasing to this right here this will be 670 torres p2 it looks like the container it is in shrinks to 20 liters so the volume of the gas is shrinking to 20 liters since a gas occupies the container it's in so this is going to be V2. And we are asked to calculate the gas's starting pressure. If we're asked to calculate the starting pressure, we are being asked to solve for P1. Okay. So in this problem, once again, what formula do you know uses P's and V's? That is going to be the Boyle's Law formula. P1 V1 equals P2 V2. And in this problem, we are trying to solve for P2. So we need to get, I'm sorry, we're trying to solve for P1 in this problem. So we need to get P1 all by itself on one side of the equal sign. The way we do that is by dividing both sides by V1. V1 cancels on the left hand side. And the formula that we'll use to solve this problem here is going to be P1 equals P2 
v2 all over v1. Alright, let's make sure our volume units are the same. It looks like we've got liters here and liters here, so we're good. We can now plug in these numbers or these values. So P2 in this problem is going to be 670 tors times V2 in this problem looks like it's 20 liters and we're going to divide this by uh, V1 which is 50 liters alright so we put these values in our calculator and it looks like we end up with 268 268 what? Well, liters here on top and bottom will cancel out, leaving you with tors. So does this answer make sense? Let's see what's happening here. It looks like you got 50 liters of a gas. Its pressure is decreasing to this, right? As the container it's in is shrinking to this. So the volume is decreasing. It's going from 50 to 20. Therefore, uh, the pressure should increase. This here is P1, so this is the starting pressure right here. And in fact, it's increasing to 670 torres. So here's Boyle's Law, people, and I hope this was helpful.